here somewhere or if something. If the train starts to go out, no. If it was out like that, then the train would just fly right off. Mm, some kind of little light will pull it here. We should get something to make it stay. So that'll work. I don't have to get a longer, bigger chain too, but. I don't know if this is a tank chain off of the Ranger 170 or if this is a chain off of Zippy. I think it is off of Zippy. But that's a different tooth chain there. Probably for 420 and not uh, 520. I'm going to whack some up here. Or maybe it's 420. That is small. But if this is the same for the same chain as the first set of sprockets I got. I could probably go with them because they have set screws that I could probably Off. mount on here and hold in place. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. But yeah. Zippy's motor fits in there a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Torrin, do you want to give the lowdown on what's what the change is, what's happening? Um, Since you took Zippy's motor out of uh, the Razor 170, what's going on? Why'd you take it out? And it didn't, because we need to shimmy it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. There Where's just it? wasn't enough room in the Razor 170 without major frame modifications, huh, bud? So someone had the idea to take Zippy's motor out and put it in. This other good frame we had. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more room. Mm -hmm. But the what? seats are bad. They're not mm -hmm. comfy. No. They'll do. We can, we can make them They're plastic, not even some pads or anything. We'll make them. Perfect. I want pads. That's for my seat, which and is we'll the driver's seat. What? It's my seat. It's my seat. I put my seat in right there. That's my seat. <laughs> that's my seat. Yeah, that was pretty good in there. That's my seat. <laughs> yeah, so thinking if. That's how far the engine would go in right now. And I may have to scoot it forward a little more. To get the pony in. The bracket but in. to make this suitable for the kids, because this is actually set up more for an adult right now, the pedals are way far forward where the kids can't reach. We'll have to make, probably move all this stuff up, shorten it anyway, to make it kid friendly. It needs to be where he has it. So I think probably to start, I'm going to take this whole, this off, the steering wheel off, see what's a comfortable position for the kids, set the seats, so then if I'm able to actually move this more this way, the better, because that works better for our sprocket. And then we can do whatever we need to in here to make a little firewall or make it isolate the engine from the kids. And we'll have to come up with some kind of shifter for it then, but we'll tackle that when we get there. Think about making a place for fill drain. It's right here on the side, this bolt right here, so it will be easy to get to. Yeah. Is that similar angle to what it was in the, in the actual machine when it was on the four-wheeler? Yeah. Probably, because the Honda is almost dead level right there. Yeah. And the best part that I didn't know how I was going to do with the Razor 170, the way it was in there, should even still be able to move or to use yep, no. the stock exhaust pretty easily too. It'll go right in there. Extend it out a bit. Extend it out the back. So this is probably going to work. You got grabbing a muffler, bud? Yep. This is going to work out to be a lot easier then you might not have and then this we can we can we can bring it down like oh that's like perfect we can bring a bracket right off of that back yeah we like and bring it down and bring it down like we can um, like a bracket and like bolt, bolt a bracket here and then yeah because that lines right up with that rear push button or the rear bumper how doesn't it bud yeah. almost exactly but you're gonna have to come down like that a little bit mm. So this is going to be, I think, in the long run, a lot better. Yeah, it's probably going to take a little more fab work to put things in here. But like I said, it's going to have to take major frame modifications with the 170. We're already, I think, starting off in better shape with this. So. Yeah, 
I agree. Plus, I think this is a little bit lighter of a chassis than the 170, so it ought to fly even faster. Yeah, and we don't need a pulley for it. Yeah. Until we, until we get it welded and wrap it all up. Mm, we'll put the seat in there to catch it. Yeah. Well, it may end up being a bit far forward, but like I said, where these seats were, Torrin wasn't even close to reaching the pedals. I don't think Alana could have either. This is no, actually more like an adult sized go kart. I'll yeah. probably be like this right now. I'll probably be like that. Torrance, get. Hold on here. Let's... Sarah, well, you might be eating the steering wheel, but. Where do you got to be for you to comfortably reach the front? Can I, can I try to get it? That's not Torrance first. I'm comfortable. Oh. Whoa, he's sliding hey! under. He's sliding. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm comfortable that? No, it's a little bit short. No, yeah, but that's what I'm comfortable if it were up though, like if a seat were up about five inches. I, well, I may move the steering wheel over a little bit. The up. seat's going to be too big with these bars here. I don't know. It may be better to make it a one-seater. I don't know. We'll have to think about this. It'd be nice to still be a two-seater for... So we can play kids. pick up and drop off. Okay. I'll just put a seat on the back like you do for a golf cart. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Do it! Do Go it! on there, man! Ruby! Can you stop, man? Hey, man. Actually, this would be a little bit better. Mm. Like, try it sit through there. That would give some growing room. There. And like you said, if we raise the seat up a little bit, it would work better. Mm -hmm. oh, let's, uh, see if I can Because they're angled. Yeah, me, me, they're gonna... me, me. Mm. Yeah. It fits me now. Raising the seat would clear, help it clear this and bar right here. Also, yeah. We also need more steering wheel. Just the, um, I could probably actually side. weld a bar to this frame for the front mount. Right here. <coughs> there. Can you get off now, Alana? Yes, please? if I can. No, I can. No, please, please, so I can get up. Just be careful yeah. taking it. Mountain. The motor's teetering. Go ahead, Kyler. The motor's teetering a little bit. I don't want it. Kyler's got some growing room yet. <laughs> Gentle Torin. Gentle Torin. Yeah, I don't think she's old enough to drive it. Yeah, if I was to mount a bar off of this for the front mount, that would put the seat about right there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's perfect. That's perfect. But you'd have to move the steering wheel up like well, this, that. This that is that's just the point. up. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably still have to shorten it a little bit. That gives a lot more room back there to slide that motor. Stop forward. jiggling. And work better for yeah. the pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, machine you have to call it up, you get this. You get so, yep, yeah, that's the plan. Project Patrick 2.0. We never really got a 1.0 finish, but we're going straight to plan B with 2.0. Patrick! If you hold the bottom, no, I can get the top. Cool. Is this is called what? A blaster? Baja Blaster. Or Blasta Baja. If I move this up to here, then I can get my motor mount right off of that motor mount. Except for the front. For the front, I can run down to here. You have to let James know your plan. He'll be excited. Mm hmm. That's where I got the frame from. Yeah, that still works. If we raise the seat up, that's you got a, a good bit of clearance there. Call yeah, coming from it. Jamaica. Did you want to take it? What's that? Call coming from Jamaica. Do you want to take it? Uh, I, I think I'll pass on that one. Okay. <laughs> So I grab, grab the other seat there and see if there's room to have these side by side. Just to say, no man. Man. Put the lid on. Yes. Mm. No. What about here? They're too wide though. They oh, could be shaved. Pick it up. Wow, Lana, you're good at barking orders. Pack it up now. But we can. Hey, if we're raising the seat up. Even different type of seat. Yeah, I mean you can get cheap. Because those are so wide. The kids are not that cheap. wide. Yeah, this is made for uh for big, adults. Big fat kids. <coughs> I think Go Power Sports sells for seats. big fat seats. Well, they tend to more for adults. You just have to. Just have my to. seat. Let me sit in my seat. That's my seat. Let me sit in my seat. No long hair. All hair must be tied up and secured at or above shoulder length. And this clothing must be secured. All neck Why is my hair long? Is my hair long? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Wow! I think we should take the is that the Predator or what is this? Uh? No, this is a DS650. 
You don't like your loud machines. I know. That thing this thing's be... even louder than the Outlander that was. thing would be insane. Yeah, this would be the this would be the one to take. Except it has no power to the fuel pump right now. Hence, it's in here. Mm-hmm. And then did you send a picture to Uncle I took Mike? One. I haven't sent it yet. Here, send that me. to Uncle Mike. He'd be excited. I think he sat outside no. under a tree looking at <laughs> Yeah. Or in a barn. Or in a barn. I started to tear it apart, and then he realized it was a lot more than he was wanting to tackle. So, yeah. Did it? Did it run? It runs. It grinds trying to go into gear. The only gear it actually has is reverse, and all the rest is grind. So. Oh yeah, he has have some stuff pulled apart here. Yeah, it is. He started to work on. It. I was like, eh. how do you hear about you? I have no idea. Oh, this is this is supposed to be right here. It's actually broken. Oh, bent. Broke it! No, I fixed it. Don't play with the lights, Tyler. Did you move the metal bar? How did you move a metal bar? Why did you turn the light up? She was ready to go for a ride. Where are we going?